Well, hello there. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject. Well, maybe not everybody's favorite subject, but we're talking about money today, guys. And not just how to manifest like a little bit, like, oh, I just need a thousand dollars. And that might sound like a lot to you. And if that sounds like a lot to you, that's fine. I'm going to tell you what you can do to manifest money that is really a lot of money. The big bucks, guys. Fucking millions of dollars. And I'm serious. What does everybody want? Health, wealth, and relationships. When you get a tarot reading or pay a psychic, what is your question? Almost always, does he like me? Am I going to get some money? Am I going to die? <laughs> right? <laughs> Health, wealth, and relationships. So today we're going to talk about wealth. And I'm going to give you actionable things that you can do to manifest some serious fucking cash. So... Number one, you have to reprogram yourself. You have to reprogram yourself. I'm going to break it down. The first step in reprogramming is to deprogram all of the limiting self-beliefs about money. Money is bad. Money is evil. Money is hard to make. Guys, money is a piece of paper. It's what you do with money that matters. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, that is not what they said. What they said was love of money is the root of all evil. And what they meant was if you're just baseless fucking making money and you'll lie and steal and rip anybody off and do anything for a fucking dollar, and that's all you care about and you have no humanity and you have no fucking soul, and you just want fucking money and that's it. That's what they're talking about when they say the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, what is the love of money in that sense? Greed. And we already know that I'm not greedy and you're not greedy. So we can let that one go. Eckhart Tolle is worth something like $70 million, guys. Eckhart, and let me tell you something. Everybody should have $70 million. Can you imagine what the world would be like if everybody had $70 million? And trust me, there's definitely enough money in the world for everybody to have $70 million. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what I mean when I say there is definitely enough money for everybody to do that. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, if everybody had $70 million, there would be no poverty. Nobody would starve to death. There would be nothing to fight about. Everybody would have health care. Everybody would get education, right? Guys, abundance is your birthright. The universe itself is abundance. All God does is just give and give and give and give. It's just that God is always going to match your energy. So what is your energy? Well, if you believe in lack, if you believe money is bad, guess what you're going to get? That's going to be your experience. God is always going to match exactly what you are being. The universe is just a big copying machine. It copies what you're being all the time. Guys, lack of abundance is the root of all evil. And let me tell you something. Money is not hard to make. Guys, I'm doing all right. I'm not super wealthy, but I'm doing okay. I've got two employees. I've even got an independent contractor. I've got an accountant and a bookkeeper and everything. I'm doing okay, guys. 
you should too. And one of the things that I'm going to do at some point in the future is teach people how to start a business. It's not hard, guys. It's not hard. It's not hard. Everybody should do it. Everybody. Now, not everybody can do it because we need employees. We need people to work for money. But if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want money to work for you. Right? Okay, second, don't worry about the haters. Let go of the guilt, right? Why should I be ashamed that I'm doing okay? I'm not super wealthy, but I'm all right. I probably have less money in the bank than you think I do. But guys, I'm doing okay. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about it. If you made as much money as I did, would you give to charity? I do, and I know you will too. If somebody comes to you and honestly wants to know how you did it, would you tell them? Well, here I am making a video. Guys, don't worry about the haters. You're not bad because you're making money. And again, everybody should have $70 million. Hello? So deprogram, guys, deprogram. Money is not hard to make. And there is a shitload of money out there to be made. We're flying on a rock that is traveling through space, which is made out of stuff. Stop believing that money is hard to get. Stop believing that you're stuck. That's a thought. You don't have to believe that. That's just a thought. Eckhart Tolle doesn't believe it, and neither should you. Guys, I'm here to let you know. And, 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 and if you're having a hard time believing that right now, just put your faith in me, guys, because I did it from the ground up. Guys, when I started my business, I didn't have two pennies to rub together. Hardly. I mean, I had a job, but I was struggling, guys. It was difficult. You got to deprogram that shit. Lack is bad, not money. You got to change that right now. And you just keep telling yourself that all the time. Lack is bad, not money. Lack of abundance is the root of all evil. Everybody should have $70 million. Write that shit down. And second, don't worry about the haters, guys. You can't change other people. Focus on your new beliefs, not the haters. Let them do whatever they're going to do. They want to believe in lack. They want to be poor. Well, that sucks, but that's their choice, guys. It's not your problem. Now, second thing to repro reprogram is supplant the old beliefs with new ones. And we kind of just talked about that, didn't we? Money is easy to make. I don't have to believe that money is hard to make. And I'm going to give you actionable things that you can do to shift those thoughts. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did when I started my business and all of these opportunities started showing up, guys. Okay, number two. So that was reprogram, number one. Okay, number two, learn about money itself and the financial system. Ooh, that's scary. But guys, you got to protect yourself. Remember, this is a video about how to make the big bucks. Okay, you can do it. You can make six figures a year. You can make seven figures a year. Shit. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm gonna. You want to make millions? Well, so do I. Everybody should. Everybody should. Money is good. It's what you do with it that matters, guys. And you don't have to charge ripoff prices to make money. I mean, even me, like, my coaching program, guys, it's affordable, and I do that on purpose. You'll figure it out. You can do things ethically and make money, and you should. Learn about money itself and the financial system, and I'm going to give you a book to read. It's called 
Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It'll change your life. Learn about money. Learn the secrets of the rich. Learn about money itself. How are the manipulators manipulating things? And what can you do to protect yourself? Don't focus on the negative stuff, guys. Don't worry about the haters. That includes the money changers, as I call them. The big dogs that run the financial system. Those guys, they run things. Don't focus on them. Don't worry about the haters. Just be aware that they are there and understand what their little tricks are so that you can protect yourself and make the big bucks. That's all. Learn about money itself and the financial system. Okay, number three, actionable exercises. Let me tell you what I did. So the first thing I did was meditate. And by the way, the more that you meditate and the more that you make a lifestyle out of meditation, just like I teach anyway on this channel, the easier it is going to be for you to change your beliefs and actually believe your new ones. And there is a specific reason for that. I won't get into it into this video because that's more of a deeper kind of spiritual topic, but it works. It works, guys. Meditate a lot, right? Make a lifestyle out of Zen. The energy that you bring forth will help you to control your thoughts, okay? Now, as a daily part of your meditation practice, do this at least once a day, twice is better, and do this for 28 days. I want you to go to the cupboard and get something that's, that smells hopefully good, right? Uh, but something pungent, that's what I mean when I say something that smells, so patchouli or rosemary, right? Or something like that, something pungent. So like, say you take some rosemary and you might, I don't know, boil it in water for a minute. And then you could boil it down, boil the water, just a little tiny bit of water, boil it down so that it's a nice, maybe kind of, pasty thing or add something to the water to make it. Anyway, what you're doing is you're making something that you can dip your finger in and then you're going to put it right here. I'm not kidding. This works. I told you I was going to give you actionable exercises. So I'm teaching you a neural linguistic programming technique. Okay. So you put that there and then you get your wallet and you take some money out of the wallet, you take the money and you put the stuff on the money too. Now, you, it helps if you have a brand new crisp $100 bill. And for me, I didn't have a lot of money guys, so I had to work really hard to get that $100. And I'll tell you what you can do if you don't have $100. There's other things that you can do. I'll give you um, something else that you can do. But if you can scrape together 100 bucks, kind of thing, right? It took me like a month. I cut some corners. I bought cheaper food for a little while, you know? And I got a hundred dollars that I could keep. And it was a brand new crisp hundred dollar bill. I went to the teller and I got one. And you don't spend it, don't spend the hundred dollars. It's your lucky hundred dollar bill, okay? So you're gonna take the scent, patchouli, rosemary, whatever. Something that you don't normally wear, like I like to wear cologne, pick something else and something fucking pungent, something that you're going to remember, okay? okay? That's why I'm saying like patchouli or something like that, right? Okay, put it on the dollar bill or $100 bill, put it on the $100 bill, make sure the $100 bill smells like that. Take a little bit of the scent and put it in, 
on your wallet in the middle. You can't really, here we go. Put it in the middle, like right here on the crease, right? And then when you go to meditate, you're going to do this exercise every morning as part of your meditation exercise. And if you do it at night, that works great too. You put some of the stuff here on your nose, under your nose, and then you sit and you envision $100 bills and gold coins and diamonds and, and a handshake. You're shaking hands with somebody, a business partner somebody, something, or you get a promotion at your job, or you get a better job that pays fucking double what you make now, however you want to do it, right? Triple what you make, or you're going to be offered a business opportunity. Remember, this is how to make the big bucks. This video, all right? Millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you're envisioning you driving a fucking Lamborghini. I'm serious. And if you can't believe that, remember what I, what I talked about earlier, I said, you know, if you can't believe that making a million dollars is possible, then just envision a thousand dollars. Maybe you think a thousand dollars is a lot and you're going to go incrementally over time. Pick something believable. And I got to tell you guys, making a hundred thousand dollars sounds believable to me. Maybe making $10,000 is believable to you. Like your first business venture, whatever it is you want to do. Envision yourself walking into the house that you've always wanted. I just want to get a regular car, not a Ferrari, maybe a Honda, but a brand new one. That's believable. Or I want to get like a Cadillac. Like it'll be the cheaper model, but it's it's still a Cadillac, right? That's believable, maybe. Pick something that's believable. You, you kind of understand where I'm going with that, but you're gonna envision yourself driving the car, walking into the house, money and gold coins falling from the sky all around you. You're gonna attract some opportunities, whatever that is. Practice this neural linguistic programming technique. Get into a meditative state first. So do your meditation. You sit down and you get present. You get out of thought as best as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then put the stuff on your nose and start the visualizations. And you're going to tell yourself money is easy to make. The only problem is that I think it's hard. Well, Kurt's telling me it's easy. He's doing it. I mean, shit, Eckhart Tolle wasn't even trying and I wasn't even trying. If I told you my story, when I look back on how it all happened, it kind of seems accidental <laughs> how I ended up here, guys. But I believed I would make money. I did start that way. And then son of a bitch, I started attracting all of these opportunities. And it was a couple of years later that I was like, wait a minute, that little exercise I did fucking worked. And that's what I'm telling you right now, right? I'm giving you these actionable exercises. And I did these for 28 days. Remember, I told you 28 days and it, it worked, it worked. Some, some, I started attracting things, opportunities to make money, to start a business. And now I have a business. I've got employees, I've got a contractor, I've got an accountant. I've got a tax attorney. I got the whole fucking thing, guys, okay? And it's awesome. I don't punch a clock. I don't have a boss. It's work, but I like what I'm doing. And I don't even have to work if I don't wanna. I own a business, right? This is why I told you to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because you might think that I'm working hard all the time. Am I? Guys, if you work hard all the time, that makes you a job owner. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Maybe you enjoy being a consultant. I enjoy being a business owner, not a job owner. That's why I have employees. And then if I want to interact, I can, but I don't have to. Ah. Okay, so back to the actionable exercises. You're going to envision all of this stuff. Money is easy to make coins and $100 bills falling from the sky. 
You've got the thing under your nose that you're smelling and it's on the crisp $100 bill and it's on your wallet. Now, when I was walking around during the day, I'd be on my lunch break or something. I would often pull the $100 bill out of my pocket and look at it. And I would say, I have money. Because that's one of the deprogramming things, isn't it? I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. That's the number one thing that you got to deprogram, guys. I don't have money. And I'd pull the $100 bill out of my pocket and I would go, I can't actually say that I don't have money. And then I would smell the $100 bill. And it's making that connection between the neural linguistic programming I did earlier in my meditation and the $100 bill between my, in my hand. I'm making the connection between the actual $100 bill and the programming I did earlier. And there's the smell too. It's neuro linguistic programming, right? It's triggering something in my subconscious. I'm trying to reprogram my subconscious. You do it over and over and over and over and over. I did it for 28 days. I did it for longer than that, actually. I would do the meditation and then I would be walking around town during my lunch break, pull the $100 bill out. I can smell the smell. And I would tell myself, I can't actually say that I don't have money because here's the $100 bill in my hand. And I would do that over and over and over like 20, 30, 50 times a day, guys. I would look at that $100 bill. Reprogram myself. I do have money. I do have money. Here's what else you can do if you cannot get a $100 bill. Write yourself a check. If you have a blank check, just you know, you know, take a check that you're going to not use and write a check to yourself for a believable amount of money. Take one of your blank checks and do the same thing with that that you would the $100 bill. You can also go online and order packs of gold-coated $100 bills. And it's an extremely thin coat of gold. I think it's like $20 for a pack of 50 or something like that. Gold $100 bills. And it's not real money, but it is real gold. It's just it's a very, very thin coating of gold. So, you know, it's, it's like it costs some pennies to make, right? But it, it's affordable for you. You can buy one of the gold bills. You can buy a pack of those and put them around your house too. It's real gold. And look at that and deprogram and reprogram. I actually do have something of value here. That is real gold. Be matter of fact about it. Do you got a coin purse with some change in it? Do you got $10? You could start today with $10. Look at that $10 bill and go, I do actually have money. And don't even tell yourself it's not much, but. Don't do that. Go, it's a start. The more you have, the more you get. Write that down. The more you have, the more you get. It's like gravity, guys. $10 grows into 50. $50 grows into 100. $100 grows into 10,000. I couldn't believe it. My fourth month in business, the amount of money I made blew my fucking mind, guys. And I was busy. It was hard because I was working a full-time job and doing the coaching thing. It was tough at first. I had to bust my ass and I busted my ass for a couple of years to get where I am now, but it was worth it. Now I don't have to bust my ass. I make videos for fun now, guys. That's what I do. I mean, if you, if you think about it, 
I probably don't even have to do this and the money will keep rolling in. Like I said, I own a business. I do not own a job, but if you like owning a job, no problem. If you wanna to talk to people, if you wanna do consulting, do it. However you wanna do it. The object here is to make the big bucks. So you got the meditation, you got your $100 bill or whatever you use. Also, number three, daily money gratitude. Never, ever say anything bad about money, guys. Never, ever say anything bad about money, okay? If somebody does something dishonest to make money, that's one thing, but that person is the problem, not the money. Money is just a medium of exchange. That's all it is, guys. So never, ever say anything bad about money. When you hear somebody winning the lottery, tell yourself, all right, that person won the lottery. Good for them. Good for you, dude. And maybe I'll win the lottery too. But be practical. I mean, you might try starting a business or getting a job that pays you triple or whatever you do, right? But you can, you can manifest amazing things like that. It is true. If you believe you do. So daily money gratitude. Be grateful for what you do have and be really, really grateful for it. This is called heart math. Okay. If you've ever heard of the heart math Institute, you generate emotions. Everybody wants to blame everybody else for how they feel. Well, if somebody tries to kill you, I guess you could say that that person made you upset. But at the same time, guys, you are the one who can then flip that emotion back around and feel good again. You are the one who is in control of your emotions too. It's a two-sided coin. All truths are but half-truths. So at the end of the day, can anybody make you feel so, a certain way? Well, maybe temporarily, yes. But what I'm trying to tell you right now is you are an emotional generating machine. And that's what you attract is the way you feel inside your body. That's the secret of the law of attraction. How you feel about it. So be that energy, be that energy, be the energy of gratefulness. I'm, gr I'm grateful, I have gratitude for what I have, even if it's $10. I'm gonna assume most of you watching should at least be able to do what I did and scrape together a $100 bill and don't spend it. Get a nice new crisp one. Or if the teller says, I don't have any brand new ones, but I got this one that's like as good as new. And you, you're like, yeah, actually, it's a nice, right? No wrinkles, no wear. It still has that new money smell, right? Get a nice, if you can, if you have to go to different bank to find a brand new one, you know, I, I made sure to get a brand new one. But however you do it, get a really nice crisp one. And have gratitude for what you do have. All I could do, Kurt, was get the gold bills. They were 20 bucks. But I did it. I did it. I actually took that step. And I do have gold. I own gold now. That's legit. It's $20. But it's something. Be grateful, generate an emotion of gratitude in your heart and in your belly and do it every day. Do it every day. And here's the last thing, you guys, and this is very, very important. You got to believe it. Again, the more you meditate, the easier it's going to be for you to believe it. And you can go in steps right? Well, I don't think making a thousand dollars is easy. I don't believe that, but I do believe making a hundred dollars is easy. 
start there. And once you make $100 or then go make another $100. And now you have two of those nice crisp $100 bills and hang on to them. Don't spend it. Don't spend it because your next belief is that making $1,000 is easy. And by the time you get two or three of those $100 bills in your hand and you saved them and you did not spend them and now you're holding the $300 and you're going, I do actually have money. Wait, maybe making $1,000 is easy. You know what? I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to say $2,000. And I do believe that. Go in steps, guys. Take your time. Do it in 28-day cycles. 28-day cycles. You follow me? Take your time. To make the big bucks, it's going to take a minute. But you can do it. You can do it, guys. There's a lot of you watching that might think I make big bucks. That's fair. You can do it, guys. Trust that you will be brought all the resources and opportunities that you need to make all the money you want. Believe it. Abundance is your birthright, guys. So go out there and do it.